What up, bud? What up, friend? How y'all doing? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Fayana, aka Flower Child. Uh, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. And for all my people that, you know, been rocking with me, I appreciate it, but what y'all hearing is most definitely my washer. I have two days until I go back home to Kentucky. Thank you, Jesus, to the real topic at hand. I finally went through and really read all of the comments. And let me just say, I'm back. I'm back. I made some notes. Yes, it's on some sticky notes, but I made some notes. And we're going to talk about this because y'all have really been sticking with me. And y'all, I have 302 subscribers right now. But y'all really be feeling me. And I'm really excited about this. Um, like I did say to um, one of my people in the comments is, I feel like I be basically repeating myself. And so, y'all, that's why I don't really be throwing out a whole lot of videos. Because I don't want to make the same video, different clothes, different you know different place we're gonna knock off some of these easy ones easier ones first um so requirements um i cannot speak for everybody but i know that me starting with for seniors that they were entry level which means your girl went in there not knowing nothing about taking care of paper, uh, patients i literally quit working as a server and at ups and got right into dialysis um, they end up training me. They end up training me and I end up getting certified and getting my CCHC and all that good stuff. Um, I'm not all the way for sure if other companies do do that or not. Um, most people do want you to go ahead and at least have your Dallas's technician's license so that you can come in and go ahead and get your study for your CCHT or they want you to have your CCHT while coming in. Um, but like I said, I know every company is different. And honestly, let me go ahead and put this disclaimer out. I can only talk about the experience from Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky to be exact. I don't know how everybody else does it. I know the training is different, all that. So y'all don't be coming for my neck. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, fake nails. Fake nails is a no. Fake nails is a no. You can have gel nails, you can get an acrylic overlay, but having actual fake nails is a no. It is technically against policy. Um, you can get in trouble for it. I've seen people get acrylics and my thing is whatever, do whatever you wanna do, whatever floats your boat, that's cool. But if state comes in or if your higher boss comes in, you have the chance of getting rolled up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one out there because I'm not about to lead y'all in the wrong direction. I'm just telling y'all like it is. You can most definitely have your nails grown out. My nails are pretty, pretty decent length. As you see, like my thumbnail is out there. It's out there. I don't know if y'all can really see that or not, but it's out there. Um, I like my nails to be a little long bar because that's my personal preference. Um, with having longer nails, you already know bacteria, germs, all that. You need to wash your hands. You need to wash under your nails all the time, period. On to number three, um, shoes. If I'm going to be real honest with you, poo, it don't matter what shoes you get, it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to change your shoes very consecutively. Um, like you're gonna have to constantly move into different pairs of shoes. Like this year alone, I bought about four pairs of different shoes so far, and we're only about to be in June. So that should let you know, like we're working on concrete. So concrete is going to hurt your feet. Like normally people who work on concrete is people who work in like warehouses and stuff like that. And they wear steel toe boots. But we're in the medical field and we walk on concrete anywhere from 12 to, to 16 hours a day. And 
no matter what kind of insoles you put in, no matter what kind of shoes you get, your feet is going to hurt. Like, if I can be real honest, y'all don't come for me. I've been experiencing, um, what is this stuff? Uh, calluses. And baby, it's un, it's un, it's not pleasant at all. I've been wanting to go get my feet done every week. I've been trying to hold off for every two weeks, but if it if I feel like it's not working every week, because I like my feet to be pretty. It's summertime. I wear sandals. Um. Okay, so discriminating against tattoos. No companies really can't necessarily discriminate against tattoos. If y'all know me, y'all know. I have a whole sleeve. Um, I have a whole sleeve of tattoos. Um, and if anything, like before you even really get started, you need to let them know, like, hey, I have tattoos. Like, is that a problem? Because some companies may require that you go out and buy like an athletic sleeve to where it covers your your tattoos. Um, some people don't care. I've been fortunate enough to not deal with people who care about tattoos. Um, they're they're flowers and <laughs> i mean in a good saying well not even a saying a good quote but you can if you have like weapons so if you have like daggers or a gun or like anything that's like gang related or whatever then they'll probably be like you need to go ahead and cover that up buddy um but with piercings so let me act i'm real worried about piercings so let me zoom on in so as y'all can see, I have my hoop and I also have my, ooh, my septum. I know it's tiny now, but they used to complain about that. So they would be like, well, you can't have a hoop and your septum can't be there. That's cool. Y'all know I'm a rebel. But no, um, but other companies don't really care. Like if anything, they want you to have like a little stud. And if you have a septum, they might want you to flip it up. But honestly, COVID's happening. We're all wearing masks. So at this point, I really don't feel like it matters what is underneath my mask. It's not hurting nobody. Nobody can see this. Everybody's only seeing this. And I mean, it is what it is. But that's me. They might ask you to move it. They might ask you to change it. Whatever. All right. Um, tools needed. Okay, so honestly, I bought my own stethoscope, and let me tell you, I haven't used it once. Um, where I'm at now, she doesn't want you to use anything that's not already inside the the building, which I don't understand because if it's mine, that means I don't have to share it with nobody. And if somebody doesn't have it, there's one on the machine for them to use. Most companies have been trying to have stethoscopes on every machine so that, you know, you can just go in with an alcohol pad, clean the earbuds, and clean the the drum, and then listen, do your thing. But if I got my own, I would rather use my own, but not all, not all companies allow that. Um, you will always, 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 always need a black pen. Black pens are where it's at. Black pens. It don't gotta be a fancy black pen. It don't gotta be. It don't gotta be nothing fancy. Shoot, you can go get that um, the dollar big ones from Walmart. Like nobody cares. You got a pen. Um, I say black because black is official. Blue is technically illegal. Not necessarily illegal, but they don't want you to write anything that is not black. Um. We're already, I'm already 10 minutes in. Okay, sorry, y'all. There might be a part two. I'm just going to be honest. This managing school and work I've seen. So I'm not even going to lie to you. I failed terribly in this subject. Um, Only because I needed to be at work for 40 hours a week. And I needed to go to school for at least 40 hours a week. And that was kicking my butt. Because I was literally up from... 3 30 in the morning until about 10 30 at night and that's like an all-day process like that's a lot on your body um don't get me wrong i failed at it but that doesn't mean that you will um please do not be discouraged and my thing is is also if you are going to school for like medical 
talk to your talk to your FA or your manager or whoever. Um, talk to them and see if they're willing to work uh, work with your schedule. They um they do have reimbursement programs if you are a tech who is looking to go into nursing. They do offer programs and um and flexible scheduling when you are trying to do something in the medical field. They want a whole lot of nurses, so therefore they're going to help you reach that goal. Um, and plus, if anybody is doing this while in school, y'all, congratulations and thank you so much for, you know, helping us while helping yourself. We do appreciate it. And if you have any, um, any experience or any advice to give, please, y'all, like, the community is so dope and I really do love and appreciate y'all. Go ahead and, like, you know, keep encouraging our fellow techs. Like, it's needed. It really is. Ooh, um, thank y'all. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, so traveling within your company. So you can most definitely travel within your company. It's all about um, reaching out to HR, also talking to your manager. Um, when I was at home, I was a float technician. So that means I had my home clinic, but I also floated to different clinics around the city. So um, I might go to a different county, but that wasn't really tripping. I wasn't really tripping because the way Louisville was set up, a different county is only like 30 minutes away. I'm cool with that. Um, you do get paid more. I don't remember the exact amount, but you do get paid more. And then also you get mileage pay. So you get flow pay and mileage pay. And then um, most places do offer shift diff, which is shift differential. So going from morning to night to afternoon type thing, you get paid for that. Um, check your check stubs. Check them because they will have them in there. Don't be fooled because if they can play you out your money, they will. And I'm not only speaking for Persinius, I'm saying anybody. Just saying, just saying. Um, if you, I had to do travel because I love my patients. I really do. But after a while, you start to be like, yo, such and such is starting to really tick me off. Like starting to, starting to trigger me with all of these complaints and issues and everything else when I'm just trying to be the best person I can be. Um, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Like time for you to go and it, it just also allows you to network a little bit more so it's really dope um so it's really dope talk about it see what you can do um the best way to finesse that is to be like hey you know i'm looking for some extra hours and i was wondering is there any clinics around that need help um you know i'm always willing to help if they need people like when i tell you i would come to work get once like get first shift on and then they'd be like Faye you're going out PRP Faye you're going out Chevyville Faye you're going out Masonic I'm like all right that's cool that's cool let me go ahead and go do what I need to do <laughs> like but it's not bad because I've met a lot of wonderful people and I love it um opportunities in dialysis I've seen that so yes once you get your CCHT baby you can most definitely be in clinic, um, in clinic, which is, you know, actually working in your clinic. You can do acutes, which is working in hospitals, but they operate differently. I haven't done acute, so I don't have a whole lot of information on it. However, I heard it's pretty dope though, because um, in clinic, you can work anywhere from, I don't know if it's legal or not, y'all. I really don't at this point, but I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing for nobody. I have most definitely been six to one in the beginning to drop down to four to one. And in Little Arkansas, we have most definitely been five to one throughout the majority of the day, um, if not the whole day. And that gets stressful. But if you got teamwork, it makes the dream work. But if not, baby, you just gotta make sure your boat floats and sails on through the day. Um, what was I getting at? But yeah, there's multiple opportunities. Um, for instance, like right now I am a travel dialysis tech, so I am 
currently not necessarily partnered with a specific company um besides the agency which is ahs um and we'll get more into that in the next video because this is getting too long and i know y'all might be like too much excuse my language sorry <laughs> but all right um so y'all that's it for right now quick cry uh congratulations y'all i'm so proud of y'all i love y'all and i appreciate y'all thank y'all for reaching out to me i will most definitely have my personal and my um creators page up on the screen somewhere up here but i'm sorry <laughs> but um I have it up there because y'all talk to me talk to me I most definitely will talk to y'all back I do I do I do why because honestly it makes me feel so happy like I literally called my sister the other day and was like shy like people are really reaching out to me on Instagram asking me questions like I was like yo like I'm hyped <laughs> I'm hyped I'm hyped um I'm glad that I can help y'all but big congratulations. I'm so proud of y'all. Thank y'all for going out of y'all's way and being part of the community and being amazing heroes, especially in this time of need. Y'all are loved and appreciated. Don't forget it. All right. I'll see y'all in part two.